Why are there so many stickers on this? I love that. <laughs> Purple tag. I walk around like everything is okay on the outside. But deep down inside my shoe, my, my sock is falling off my foot. When your friend is amazing and you have ADD, so she makes you take all your water cups home that you've left here. We are up in Olathe today doing some thrifting with Sammy and all of her crazy kids. Just kidding, they're actually really good kids. And we are so excited because we are also doing planning for the for the Love of Junk weekend. So come along with us, let's do some shopping and we will talk about that more soon. We are starting out at the Salvation Army. This is one of the first thrift stores that Sammy and I ever went to together. It's one of my favorites to shop with her because it's one of her favorites. Tan tags are half off. Purple tags are $1.98. You can see here they've got a ton of shelves. They don't look really full today, but let's go ahead and see what we can find. I love these replica ceiling tins. This one was $6, a little high for me. Oh. oh, I broke in. I love how she, she, tried, she tried to reach in and jack that from me. Rude etiquette. <laughs> when y'all come thrifting with us, expect a little bit of competition between the two of us. I went ahead and picked up this cloche purple tag, which means it was $1.98, and I re-gifted the tree base to the store. This was $5, which I was thinking was too high. It was a tan tag, y'all. It would have only been $2.50, and I would have totally picked up that cast iron piece for $2.50 in that beautiful green. I don't know. I must have been talking to Sammy and not paying attention. I looked at this piece considering using the base for a project, but it looked a little too hard to get apart. These are gorgeous. $3 each, and they've got a built-in snuffer. pretty mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so this one is nothing too crazy special just made in china but i don't find a lot of just white basic crocs so i think i'm gonna grab that one as well what do we think about this tarnished tea set very pretty it's a pottery bell it's kind of neat five dollars i like these half Sided wall hangers, but five dollars is too much on that one. Here's an interesting piece. We made six dollars on this. Assuming this is a planter. I like the colors on it a lot. But I'm not crazy about the shape. I think I'm gonna leave it behind for six. These bamboo steamers can make some really fun DIY projects. Let's see the sticker on this one though, unfortunately. Y'all, I got a bum cart. I don't even know where Sammy went. She ditched me. Eighty. Yoo-hoo! This bowl was really pretty. I saw the 1098 tag, but now I just noticed there was another one on the bottom. These have some great patina to them. $1.98 each. I think I'm gonna go ahead and snag them now. A little sugar mold. Candle, $6. I'm gonna pass on that. Beautiful spoon rest made in China. It's nothing fancy, but I do love those colors. Should I be looking at spoons? Probably not. Are we going to anyway? Definitely. Look at this piece, you guys. It's uh, purple tag, so it's $1.99. I'm definitely gonna grab it. It's a little vase. It's gorgeous. It's an almost, that's plastic. I love this color. Y'all, I'm scoring on tan tags today. Why? This table is only $15. It's really pretty. Look at the spindly legs on it. Looks like it's missing. Probably had some little finial details that stuck up here. 
know if this was supposed to be like a little faux mantle or. Oh, yeah. It had some like hanging hooks on it. Very interesting. $8 for that little piece. These are some fun fall colors, as is already. They'd also be really pretty painted, but they're very breakable, so I'm not trying to ship. I'm currently buying things for the new house, too. This is Tan Tag, half off, $2, new little soap dispenser. That'll be really cute in my gray bathroom. Oh, what do we have here? I love that. <laughs> Purple tag. The total was $31 at store number one. Got some really good finds. Most of them were the tag colors of the week as well. So about that event I was telling you, For the Love of Junk Weekend will be held in Olathe, Kansas, September 15th through the 17th. We're gonna be kicking off Friday evening with a fun meet and greet at a local Mexican restaurant. I heard the food and drinks are just amazing. We can meet each other, talk about junk, talk about crafting. If y'all have some little business questions, anything of that sort, meet your friends and get prepared for Saturday because at 8 a.m. we are loading up on a party bus and heading to the thrift store. We'll be hitting a couple of different stores in the area and there will be some fun challenges when we get there to make the shopping even more interesting. Now, if y'all find some extra stuff while you're there, great, go ahead and grab it as long as it fits on the bus and you can get it back home with you as well. So shopping galore, back on the bus and we were going to head to Lewisburg to flip our finds. Sammy and I are going to demonstrate many different paint techniques. We'll be there to help along the way if you have questions. We're going to bring all of the supplies you'll need, the brushes, all of that good stuff. All you have to do is bring it yourself. We're going to even provide the budget for the thrift store. We're going to cater some lunch in that day. Some famous Kansas City barbecue should be delicious. We'll have plenty of time throughout the day to work at some fun little stations around the room as well. So expect a day full of fun, laughter, learning, creating, making new friends, shopping, eating, good food. Like, does that not sound like fun? Come join your girls and let's have a good time. Also, some more exciting perks. We're going to be making swag bags for you. I'm making some handmade chippy Christmas ornaments out of spindles. They're going to be so pretty. And Sammy is hand making uh, for the love of junk shirts for everybody. So that's great little perk as well. Even bigger perk, Cricut has sponsored us. So they are going to be giving us a maker three to give away for this event. Yes, if you buy a ticket, you're going to be automatically entered to win a Cricut Maker 3. So that's like almost the cost of the ticket right there. If you are um, in the surrounding states, you can definitely drive in, but if you're coming in from far away, only about 30, 40 minutes from the KCI airport. If you have any other questions, I'll drop the link down in the description box below for the event and feel free to email me upcycledbybree at hotmail.com and I can help you out with any other questions as well. All right, let's get back to shopping. Next up is Turnstiles Thrift in Noreita. 50% <laughs> off yellow and $1.24 on orange. The carry jar from over here. I have a feeling Sammy's about to beeline it to it. Let's see if we can get past her. Oh, I think it's a drink dispenser. So somebody over there has a topiary, topiary in their cart and it's giving me total FOMO. I might follow them around and see. Orange is $1.24. Yeah. Oh, this is the store where I found those amazing cookie molds, the wooden ones. $5 on that. That's a cute piece of salvage. These little pottery things are cute. $1.24 on yellow. Or on orange, I mean. That has some really fun patina. Half off yellow, pair of corporals for $1.50. Yes, please. So this piece is $1.24. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy. It needs a paint job. I like the bottom. Should I put it in my car? What do we think? I'm thinking it's really heavy, actually. I don't want to ship it. This has some really pretty crazing on it. With Sammy, I have FOMO, like I'm going to miss things, so I run around the whole store really fast. Oh, these, these yellow and orange stickers are everywhere, y'all. Hey, 
and that has pizza and food all over it. Oh my gosh, that's kind of cute. Kind of quirky. Ah, I don't need it. Half off. Kind of a good patina on that. With this massive thing, $13. You guys, she was about to put it back. And I asked for it. She said I could have it. It's half off, so it's only gonna be $6.50. Yes. Here's another soap dispenser. I don't know if that shiny copper would be perfect though. And I really like this little mug tree. $8, I think I'll pass. Speaking about pottery, look at this giant piece. Oh, this is actually wood, $19.99, that's really neat. And I'm like in love with this. Lavender, lemon, I wonder if somebody hand painted that. This is a really cute little piece. You want $50 for it? It matches this set over here for $124. Oh look, and there's a hall tree too. They have it all priced separately. The hall tree is $50.40. Hello. I love this little interesting head on this glass swan. Made in Sweden. Dollar twenty-four on this little sign. This would be a really easy piece to paint over, redo. Has some really fun details on it. Look how somebody repaired this. <laughs> Pretty inventive, really. I really like these little chairs. They don't no, they don't. I like these too. Look at all of these collectibles. Oh, he's cute. I'm smarter than I look. To a hell of a swallow of a guy. He got 1050. That's really pretty. It would be really hard to ship. I'd have to charge like $70 for it. Ugh. Wondering if somebody brought in their whole bell collection. So Savers has these bag walls and they are a ton of fun. To dig through you can end up spending too much time on them if you're not careful but i found some great copper gems on them before i don't see any today trivet i'm not sure why it's in a bag there's only one of them for 2.99 some small ones for 4.99 ton of cookie cutters but they don't look very old The baby is not happy right now. Prices are not ridiculous here today. I like that blue and white, but it's made in China. Oh, I like this basket for $2.52. It's got some really good patina to it. 99 cent wreath hanger. That would go really well with my decor, but I do not need it. This bag of stars is $7.99. It's like one, two, no, three, four. A bunch of the baby on these. I am in love with this pattern. International table works. <laughs> That's really fun. What do you think she's thinking? She's thinking, oh, these are individually priced. A little earth stone from New Zealand. We got $350 on this piece. I really like this one as well. Blue is attractive. Oh, special. Here's a look at a few of the items I grabbed while I was with Sammy. I am loving this fall cottage core green and brown vibe I've got going on here. There are a few more things. They are already in the boxes getting ready to be listed for Saturday's haul. To see everything I got with Sammy, be sure you tune in Saturday morning. 10 a.m. Central Standard Time on my channel. Items will go live at 9.55 a.m. 
at upcycledbybree.com in the Shop the Haul collection. Be sure to follow and subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss any new content. Send this video over to a friend, thumbs up, and I will see y'all in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye, friends.